This fun craft kit includes everything you need to make this beautiful ornament. Please refer to the written instructions and the product key on the inside of the box so you'll know which product to start with. And visit DIYAgogo.com for more fun craft kits. Start by taking out your paper mache ornament and removing all of your products. We are going to start with white swan, which is number one. I find it easier if you cut them apart to get the lids open so that they don't spill. DIY paint is clay based with just nine ingredients and it's five times more pigmented than most paints. Even this little tiny amount of paint is more than enough to cover this ornament. I like to give it two coats and use a water bottle to help the paint move across the surface. Wait for the paint to completely dry and get out your decoupage napkin. The napkin has three layers. It's very important to remove the two layers so you're working with just the top layer. Be very careful as the paper is fragile. You can use a pair of scissors or you can gently rip the mermaid out from the background. I like to rip the paper as it looks more organic. Just be very careful as this paper is super thin and can rip easily in places that you don't want it to. Next, you want to position the mermaid on the ornament where you want it. I like to get the head right up at the top where the hanger is. Then you're going to get out your liquid patina and gently apply it to the ornament. I am applying a little bit of liquid patina and then putting the napkin down. Just be very careful so that you get it on nice and smooth. Once you start using the liquid patina, the paper becomes even more fragile, so you just want to go slow so that you don't rip the paper. Wait for the undercoat of liquid patina to dry and then apply more liquid patina over the top. I place my ornament in a cup or a bowl so that it doesn't roll around while it's drying. Next, I get out my tiny artist brush and I fill in the background lines in the fine details with more white swan. This will help the background disappear instead of trying to painstakingly cut in between all the strands of hair. I just use a tiny brush and try and cover up as much of the blue as I can. You will want to let the paint dry completely and add another coat. Next, I get out Golden Ticket, which is a beautiful gold metallic. You want to make sure it's mixed well. Use your artist brush, and I am just adding highlights to the mermaid's hair and details on the mermaid's tail. You can see here that I have plenty of Golden Ticket left over after finishing this for other projects. The last step is to apply the pigment powder to deepen the color of the tail. You will want to rinse out your brush and use the liquid patina again. Just put it on randomly and then dip your wet brush into the pigment powder so that it sticks to the mermaid tail and allow to dry. After your ornament has dried, thread the biggest bead through the gold thread that comes with the ornament. Then take the remaining gold thread and tie a knot, pushing it down tight on top of the bead. Thread on the smaller bead and cut the gold thread in half. Fold your strand of twine in half and secure it to the top bead by tying a knot with the remaining portion of the gold thread. Next, create a loop cut off the excess and fray the ends. Trim any of the excess gold thread and you are finished. To purchase this kit, click the link below or visit DIYAgogo.com. Thanks for watching.